Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Jacob Jaskov, and we're going to be looking at Fog of Love from Hush Hush Products. Yes. Which I would like you to explain, if possible. What are we trying to do in the game? So, this is a game of a twisted romantic comedy. Okay. Uh, it can end up with a happy ending, like some romantic comedies can do, but it can also end with a breakup and an unhappy ending, okay. depending on how the people, how the players play the game. It's for two players, it's a romantic strategy game, as we said. Okay. So it's a storytelling game with strategy. It's not a get-to-know-yourself game, mm -hmm. it's a real game. Okay. <laughs> um, you play two characters uh, with personality traits. Uh, these traits, they are secret, mm -hmm. so you don't know each other initially because you just get to meet each other. Okay. Uh, and that's in chapter one. As the uh, game progresses, you get to know more and more about each other, and in the end, you decide if you stay together or not. Okay. So initially, we built randomly with some uh, some uh, characters, uh, and I give each uh, five traits, and we pick from them. Okay. So this is my hand, and this is the other hand. Of course, it's secret. Yes, but we'll show uh, some examples yes. of what we have here. Yeah. So we have the patient guy. Sub, uh, sub, uh, subservient, subservient hi um, hypocritical, greedy, and impulsive. So perhaps patient uh, and no hypocritical. That would be fun. Impulsive <laughs> and actually the subservient. That's uh, okay. That's a, a bad person somehow. I guess. Uh, but this that's that character. I create my character. Okay. Here, uh, let me see. I think I would so like spiritual. to be manip oh. manipulative yes. and cocky. Uh, All right. Yes. So, that's my character here. And we don't know each other. Right. These uh, characters, they define what your, uh, your goals, so what you want to achieve uh, in the shared uh, balance board here of the, of, uh, of the relationship. So, when it, so whenever you make a choice on your uh, story cards, mm -hmm. you get some points here in the middle, and they, and they need to fit with your goals here. Okay. Um, and I can just explain, so if you are cocky, for example, you want to have, uh, you want to have uh, five or more uh, in this uh, leftward direction on gentleness, meaning you are rough or stubborn, you're not, uh, you're not so uh, cooperative. You need to have five more here, share together. Actually, you want the, the, the total uh, relationship to go in that direction. So okay. you also want your partner to be like that. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you make these choices. Uh, first, you have these uh, characters. Then the next thing we do is uh, to have some occupations. We have three and we pick from this. And uh, I think uh, this one should be the fashion model. And I am... I would be the banker. So that's the fashion model and the banker that meets. And then uh, we have some features, uh, five cards each. And the next thing we do is I select for, for you what okay. I like about you. Okay. I like that you are smiling, that you are, have shaking hands, and that you are eloquent. Okay. And the other person might like that I'm... Oh, no, no. I, I already got yours. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that you're old-fashioned. Uh, uh, you got a symmetric face, because yes. I, I really want to see that. And you got some awesome jiggling legs. <laughs> All right. We fit very well together, as we can see. Yes. <laughs> so that's, that's the basic characters. What we do next is very quickly, we can see there are some, uh, some symbols down here. So that's some initial uh, information that is put out here. Okay. Uh, cards here. Yes. Exactly, each in each color, and so we also already start with some kind of uh, an outset here. Uh, oh, here uh, and eloquence here and smiling here. Okay. Actually, shaking hands. Okay. 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 So now we have this as a starting position, and now we give each other a name. It's important. So this the banger. That's Ben, and he meets. Uh, what's her name? Um. Priscilla. Priscilla. Yes. We find out how they met. That's the first card. Disco star on the full moon. That's the prologue. Children, marriage, shared dreams, travels, romantic dinners, spooning in bed, the first kiss, the first date. It all began with the first special moment. 
how was yours? So we have a simultaneous choice here. I could choose A, meaning I was dancing all night and I noticed you noticing me dancing. Okay. Or I could choose B, I was noticing you dancing. So that's what I remember. So you danced and I just looked and then we went out. Or I was just too drunk, so I don't remember. Okay. So we both choose. And if one chooses A and one chooses B, so it matches, so we have the same shared memory, okay. then we get extra satisfaction out of that. So I take, uh, I take one, what do you remember? You remember B, I also remember B. So that's, I remember you, I looked at you, and you also remember that you look at me. So actually we don't remember so much the same thing, probably, because some of us was dancing. So we get six satisfaction out of that. Um, so that's now it's the starting position and we need to have a lot of satisfaction in order to be happy in this uh, relationship so this is like this uh, the start of the game then we have a hand of, of cards we can play um, and you have the three of those uh, and one of those and one of those so is it a party out there a fortune teller, gorgeous Alex, and uh, one more, we need to have, what is the stupidest thing you did? So that might be your hand, I have another hand, and I ask you, um, actually I ask you, should we have sex in the outdoors? <laughs> so that's, uh, that's one question, and this is a question for you, so you can then answer what you want, mm -hmm. based on your personality traits, when you answer, whatever you answer, uh, will give you, some points in the middle of the, uh, of the track. So if you say, no, you pervert, what are you thinking about? That's not me. Okay, so you choose that, then uh, you are very sensitive and not very curious. Not very curious. Not so that's you. Okay, that, this gives me some signal about who you are. And then you play a card and we play back and forth. A lot of the cards, most of the cards are simultaneous choices. So we actually choose together as we did here in the, okay. in the start. So that's how you play the cards. Uh, some cards can be played as secrets. So if I have a secret, I play it here. You don't know, I play it here. You don't know what it is. Right. So I might have an affair. I might also prepare a, uh, a anniversary, uh, a, a surprise party for you. So I'm a, I do a lot of secret stuff and we, and we build up a relationship together. As we go along, in this chapter we play eight cards, then we play uh, 14 cards in chapter two and then 10 cards in chapter three. And then in the end we have the finale. But how do we win in this game? And that's actually the mo one of the interesting things about this game. This is a game, like a real relationship, it can be both cooperative or it can be more conflictual. Okay. Uh, and it depends on how you, on the story ending cards you choose. So you have seven story ending cards okay. and, the, and they are the, the key cards in this game. So based on the cards you choose, you're playing a different type of game. If I'm playing the love team, that's my card, I choose that. Mm -hmm. Then I'm actually playing a co-op. I want to have a shared uh, satisfaction in our relationship of 60 or more. I don't care who has it, I just want to uh, be together. I could also play a co-op in a different way, but we are equal partners. I don't care that we have a lot of satisfaction, but we need to be very close to each other. So that's my goal. You could perhaps be, uh, uh, let's say, yeah, you could be the dominant person. If you are dominant, then you actually don't care about being equal, you actually want to have more than me. Right. And if I can see, uh, based on your behavior, that you are like that, perhaps I might choose that I have an unconditional love for you. So I just want to support you. And suddenly the dominant and unconditional love create a co-op in a different way. Okay. Uh, so you have different ways of, of structuring the game. And as you go along, initially you have seven cards in chapter two. You choose three and discard them. Then you have four cards on hand. And then discard two and then you have two left. And then in the end you choose among these two what kind of game I'm actually playing. And these, these cards set your winning condition and define if you're playing a co-op or not, if you're breaking up or not, if this ends up happily or not. So I need to read you along the game how you play, what you choose, uh, in order to understand what kind of goals are you actually reaching for on a higher level? Okay. And this defines the game that we are playing. All right. So it's a, 
a very different type of game because it's, it is very uh, dynamic. There's a lot of options for whatever you can do as in a real relationship. Right. It can simulate a lot of different stuff and it's quite easy to play because the basic mechanism is just to choose from your cards and choose A, B, C or D and then resolve that. Okay. All right. Well, thanks very much for the overview. Thank you very much. Yeah.